Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. When I say this is going to be something different, you know I always say that, it's not going to be some of this, some of that, or any of this. What it's going to be is a power bank video. Ooh. Yeah, so as you might see, there might be something in the corner somewhere saying includes paid promotion. So I'm not being paid to do the video, but I have been sent a power bank. Ooh. Right, I need to stop with the ooze. Yeah. So this is the power bank we got sent. All powers. OK, all powers S200. All right. They do bigger ones, but they sent me this one out. So we thought we'd review this one. It does come with a solar panel, comes with a nice little bag as well. All, all in one, so that's your solar panel just there. All right, power bank's inside, let's whip it out. We're not whipping it out like that. As you can see, this is the power bank. I've got some screenshots, so I'm gonna spin them around now when we've been using and abusing it, so I'll show you even closer. But I'll just give you a close up here as well. You can actually see it's still, <laughs> it's got a few scratches. It's got tea stains on it. So that is quite authentic. You know, been been battering it, been bruising it literally this last weekend. So uh, yeah, that's the unit. It is literally nice and handy. It is like a, a CD player in a car, a car stereo. Let's call it a car stereo size. Okay, and we have got dimensions. I even got my notes down here. Great posh today. So uh, we have got, it's 200 mil by 170 mil by 20. But you can sort of see it by, I'll tell you what, there's a normal phone, okay? A normal house phone, office phone. You can sort of see the difference. Well, not the difference, the aspect of the size of it. Put it that way, put it that way. But you get the gist of it. It is tiny, it is handy. It's portable. It's a portable power bank. It's nothing hefty, it's nothing massive, and it's not the biggest power bank they do, all right? So don't be expecting too much, but it does what it says on the tin, and that's what we're all interested in. As you can tell, I keep calling it a solar, well, sorry, a power bank. Let, well, keep calling it a power bank because that's what I call them. It's power, and it's in a bank, so you can use it as and when. A lot of people call, call them solar generators. Uh, yes and no, but we live in the UK. So solar's not always about, you can always pull a little bit here and there, but generally it's a power bank. You charge it up, you use it. And I'm gonna run through multiple ways that you can charge it, what inputs you can do with it, what outputs you can do with it. So it's a little lithium battery basically inside. That's what a power bank is. No matter what size you go for, it is a lithium battery inside a box that you can use, okay? We all know lithium batteries are the way forward because they just are. The, the miles above lead, it is electrical wizardry to me, how they do it. But simple thing is, because I like to keep things simple, all right? It is a lift battery inside a box that you can move around and use, okay? Simple as that. We've got 40, it works out 41.6 amp hours, okay? Which uh, it's equivalent to 154 watt hours, okay? So yeah, generally, if we cut that down, you've got, let's say you've got, I haven't at the moment, but, Let's say you had 100% battery, okay? If you ran something that's running 154 watt hours, okay, it'd last an hour. It's as simple as that. Um, you're not gonna get much that's gonna draw that. Oh, you're gonna get some big items that will use it, but then if you're gonna use bigger items, then you generally you go for a bigger power bank. For what this has been used for, it's been absolutely bang on. Let's get into the current price and the current day, because that's what you're all, all here for. Is it any good? Yes. How much does it cost? You know, things like that, before we get into some more details. So this is the kit we'll be looking at, okay? This is the exact kit that I've been sent. Current date is 20th of September, and it's retailing, already should be 300, down to 250, just short, and you're gonna get an extra 5% off that with the code in the link in the description. I mean, depending when you watch this video, obviously prices always change, fluctuate, everything like that. So. That's what I'm trying to say. We've got the code. The code is down in the description below. So if you want to skip all the sort of inputs, outputs, what it does, what it doesn't do, then crack on. Just go click the link. Um, 
crack on, have a look, see what you think. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. The DC input, okay, direct current input. I'm gonna run it right up there so you can see it, okay. So you've got your normal plug socket. Let's grab it. So you've got your normal in the UK, 240 plug, household plug with a power brick, if you want to call it a power brick, I don't know, something like that. And you've got your DC straight in to there, okay, which obviously plugs straight into the side. So you can charge it that way. Um, I think, believe in doing a bit of research, charge at about 30 watt. I'm not over keen on these brick things because the problem is you always see nightmare, like just nightmare stories online about power bricks, don't you? So. I'm glad it's got a couple of other options as well. So I don't really use that. Don't need it. I have actually charged it with that. That I've just thrown down there and probably broke. I have charged it with that and I actually timed it to see what sort of time it would be from charging. And it took two hours. I think it was about two hours from flat as well. So that's what I wanted to do is when I've been using and abusing it, I wanted to run down a cycle and charge it back up and do that a couple of times just to make sure it, number one, it charges. Number two, it holds its charge. And number three, it uses its charge as, as it should. Now, the keen eyes of you will see, it's got a USB-C charging port as well, okay? The good thing with this, and I do really, really, really like this, okay, is, ah, that's the plug I just thrown. I just tripped over it. Yeah, the thing I do like about this, the USB-C, so, I've heard in the last few weeks, okay, nothing to do with power banks, by the way, but they are cha changing the iPhone charger to a USB-C, okay? Very similar to the Samsung. Whether it's to do with fires and stuff like that, I don't know. I don't make the standards, but that's what I've heard, the change in the charging port on. I think it's to do with safety, realistically. So hence why, when we've got that port in there, I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. But there's a little bit of bonus. You can get, and the USB-C, sorry, charges at about 60 watts, so it's a bit quicker. You can also charge USB-C and the 240 DC at the same time. So you can both plug them in, but it charges much quicker than what it would with obviously one in, because you put in two DCs straight in to try and charge it up quicker. So that two hours that I timed would probably be maybe half that time. I need to test that actually. I think I should test that. But half the time, and it charges quicker, and you've got a full power bank back to full battery. So that is another cracking difference, really. So I'm going to get the solar panel out. We're a bit confined, because like I said, we're meant to be doing this outside. And we're in my office instead, because of great British weather. So I'm going to get the solar panel out, hold it up, and show you. I've got some pan around pictures. That'll look more professional. Let's slip them in. This is what it looks like on a nice day in the UK. And this is me struggling for space in my office. So, as you can see, fold out 60 watt panel. I can see you. Yeah, 60 watt panel. I need to stop being daft, don't I? Too much coffee. Uh, yeah, 60 watt panel, we'll get there eventually, right? And folds up into a jobby jobby. Don't fold up that way, does it? It, it, it folds up to that size anyway, all right? Ta-da! There's the magic of YouTube editing, it's folded. It's just me, I'm a bit daft with stuff like that. So anyway, it folded back up into that size, okay. The good thing about that, you've got three ways to charge it, okay. Solar in the UK is great when we're getting solar, but you can see what it's like outside today. I've used it before, and it's I've just shown you like a bit of overcast, um, and it's actually still pulling in, so which is good. So yeah, you've got three different ways to charge it. So if you, even if you haven't got mains or anything like that, you've got a bit of solar. Um, right, let's see what sort of outputs you can get from this. So as you can see, it's got the normal, uh, get in the light, it's got the normal inverter. So a 240 plug, a household plug can go in there, okay? It's got the inverter built into it. It depends what size power bank you get, but this is a small little diddy one. It's just handy, do you know what I mean? Right, I actually had my 240 uh, fast charge USB, 
USB, USB-C, sorry, into my iPhone on the sat-nav and it was just literally sat on the dash charging away while the sat nav was on at the same time so it was great so yeah the 240 it can peak at 240 but it's got a continuous of 200 watt okay which for a small power bank is not bad at all it is not bad um i've seen bigger power banks with probably probably not worse but really like probably triple the size of this like and they've actually their output is absolutely poo um so yeah hence why i'm quite impressed with being Diddy, but you still get a half decent output of it as well. I mean, don't get me wrong, you're never gonna plug an air fryer, uh, anything like that into it. I should have actually probably tested it out, but every power bank video I watch, generally you've got people going, it does this. Oh, this doesn't work. Oh, this does work. And I thought, it's boring, absolutely boring. Well, I find it boring. So I thought I'd do something different and I'd be like, these are your stats. Does it work? Yes. Does it do what it says on the tin? Yes. Um, is it pretty handy? Yes. Um, is it a load of shit? No. So yeah, open and honest about it, as always. I've already told you about the AC output, okay? There's a peak of 240, bing, and a continuous of 200, okay? Not only that, the USBs, do, 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 and there is two of them, so in case you've got two kids, oh, it's not charging. Ah, two USBs, there you go, happy days. Five volts, three amps, bing. USB-C, there it is, USB-C, 20, 20 volts, okay, at three amps. So I think you'd probably, like you're gonna do a laptop, definitely, off it. Um, you're gonna do a laptop, you're not gonna be able to do air fryers, otherwise you need to go to the link below and find the bigger one which is half reasonable price as well, with the discount. <laughs> yeah, it, it depends exactly what you want to charge, but for what this will do, this will do a laptop. This is gonna do your iPhone pretty quick. Or it will charge it super quick. Laptops, uh, camera gear, GoPro batteries. Uh, I, I've done all of that. The only thing I haven't done is the laptop, but it will do a laptop with the what hours it's got and the actual output, definitely. Um, not only that, this is pretty cool, you know. Look at that. It's got a little wireless thingy majiggy on there as well. All right. So it doesn't charge very quick because I've had it. So my iPhone, ding ding, which I'm on now. Generally, my iPhone uh, broke probably about a week ago. And when I say broke, it was the charging port. For a week, I had to charge it on wireless because the charging port, no matter, I bought three brand new chargers officials as well and it just would not work so i had this at the side of my bed on my bedside table and what i did is literally just put the wireless charger on it simple as that okay literally just left it overnight fully charged every morning so it doesn't charge the quickest so if you're expecting a quick charge get your USB C, get that in there get the fast charge on but if you wanted to trickle charge your phone or you're in a dilemma like i was where your phone's broke and it will not charge, you've got a wireless bit, which I know a lot of other variants of power banks have got them now, but for this sort of size power bank, you wouldn't expect it to have a wireless charger. Do you know what I'm saying? So I just found that quite quirky and, and great. So it's five volts one, at one amp. It's not gonna be a massive fast charge, but if you're in the office like this, and let's say, it's chucking it down outside and all your leads for your iPhone or Samsung or whatever mobile device it is, is inside and you really don't want to go get wet by now. I can stick this down on the side, chuck my iPhone on it and while I'm editing this video or a video, it can be charging. Do you know what I mean? I just thought, what a quirky, great idea that is. So the power bank itself, does it tick the boxes? Yes. Does it, does, does it do what it says on the tin? Yes. Have I found any faults with it? After battering and bruising it, not really, no. The only thing I was slightly disappointed with is that it wasn't a bigger power bank, <laughs> which I could have done more stuff on and shown you more, but time will come. But yeah, does it do what it says? Yes. Is it half decent for the price? Yeah. 
Did everything work like it should do, i.e. solar panel, charging inputs, outputs? Yeah. So there's not much more I can say about it, guys, really. It's a tiny little bag. It's a miniature little power bank itself with a daft decent solar panel. So depending on what you need for whether it's your camping trips, your overlanding, whatever it may be, depending what you need is depending on size power bank you want, okay? So obviously I do a lot of charging, so I've probably, I've got a alternative 500 and it does exactly what I need, uh, i.e. charging batteries, charging phones, uh, SD cards, uh, drones, the lot, okay? This little bugger would probably do it as well. It would probably charge as well. I've only got two USB, so I can only do an US, USB C's. So it'll only do so much at a certain time. I know it's com something completely different to the channel this, okay? And, and, and there is gonna be more videos like this because like I've said before, YouTube is not a good business model, okay? YouTube ends up costing us money to produce videos for your enjoyment. So there is gonna end up more videos. I've got a torch to do a review on, but the thing is, I'm not one of these, as you know, I'm not gonna be one of these guys where somebody sends me a product and then automatically unbox it and go, oh yeah, this is a really good product. Click the link below, I earn some money. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna test it for, well actually that one's been six weeks. I was gonna do a month of testing. <laughs> But it's been six weeks. So it's had a good, vigorous test of what we needed to do with it. And that's what my channel's based on. And it's the same as my business that I've got. Open, honest, it's the best way to be. If it's a load of then I'm gonna tell you. But if it's good, I'm gonna tell you as well. So if you are interested, it's simple as that. There is a link in the description, okay? Will I earn a slight commission? Yes, it's not gonna be a lot, but it's something to support the channel. Is it going to make me a millionaire? No, but it is something that can put back into the channel so we can get microphones, drones, SD cards, batteries, whatever it may be, all right? You will end up seeing more videos like this on the channel sporadically, let's put it that way. So yeah, make sure you click the link below, go have a look for me, all right? Even if you don't buy one, just go have a look at the website because this, this is the new kid on the block, all right? There is so many alternatives out there They've reached out, fair play to them. They've given me a power bank. They've let me test it rigorously as well. They've let me test it. And it, it it's done what it says on the tin. Do you know what I mean? So happy days. So go click the link below. I'll leave the little code for an extra 5% off as well. It is only, and bearing in mind, I'm filming this 20th of September. So you're going to see it 21st of September. It's only on, it might get extended slightly because I'll get him to extend it for you, but he's told me until the end of September. So we've got about a week, depending when you watch this, to get your extra percentage off, all right? Let me know what you think about that, this sort of video, guys. It's not gonna be constant. It's not gonna be flat out marketing or anything like that. It's gonna be, is there a good product? And I've been sent it and I need to test it. Is it any good? Yes. Okay, let's share it with you. Simple as that, all right? And like I say, it's a way of supporting the channel, definitely. So let me know in the comments, guys. Make sure you go click the link below. Put the code in, get your extra 5% off, make the most of it. You can have something that's portable and gives you power. You can never have enough power, never. So hope you like the video, guys. There's still plenty to come on the channel. I am backdated. I'm trying to edit as quick as possible, <sighs> but just time gets in the way. <laughs> so there's plenty to come, right. We shall see you on the next one. Make sure you click the link below. Leave your comments.